Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. In the last episode, we did some stuff, like we always do. Sorta, technically. So now we're just gonna continue. You can check this pot right here. He just looks around. And you head into the next area. Alright. Now if I'm not mistaken, I wanna be 100% sure. Let me see... I guess not. I guess if there's something here, I don't know if there's something here that's special, but I'm just going to keep on going. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything down there. If there is, leave me a comment. I'm never going to come back to it. What is this? That looks like two big balls and the stuff that emits from balls. <laughs> Why does this look so familiar? This is a picture of Gaia being assimilated by Terra. 5,000 years ago, Terra, already an old planet, sought to assimilate Gaia. Terra needed to merge with a younger planet to survive. However, there was already life on Gaia. And so the story began. So basically they're telling, okay, God, life on Terra was coming to an end. We had no choice but to proceed with the fusion, which tragically destroyed Terra's native civilizations. Well, that's too bad. Terra was too old to assimilate anything. Thus, I created the life tree to regulate the flow of souls back to Terra. So basically, the dead people from Gaia become the new souls of Terra. Now, that's not a very good uh, political system the universe has, when planets can just take over other planets. Alright, I want to heal up, and I will be right back. Alrighty, we're back. We're just going to want to get another random battle, apparently. Now, we want to head down here in the water. And now we're swimming. Wow, we in the ocean now. Fish everywhere. Yum yum. <laughs> what the hell? What are you doing? God. Swimming after fish. Zidane, you help catch fish too. Ugh, what's this? Hard to breathe now. Yeah, that would happen. That's because you think we're inside an ocean. Well, yeah, inside oceans, typically people can't breathe. What the hell's going on? Oh, the fish are vanishing. What the hell? It looks like we're in an ocean. Fish all gone. I said. Oh, poor Quinna. Now, we can head straight. Or, we can head back here. To a random fucking battle. I conveniently got in a random battle with a preemptive strike on an Iron Man, so... Worked out pretty well. Now, I don't know if you gotta go fight somebody else before you do this. There's... Oh, here we go. The mysterious voice is back here. Who dares disturb my sleep? Leave at once or you will die. Eh, no. Prepare to die. Okay. Epic boss fight music for the win. Well, not really epic boss fight music, but... Festival of the Hunt music for the win. Against Hades. The devil himself. He's about to cleave us, and it hurt. It hurt a lot. So we're gonna heal, and it's gonna feel good. Let me make sure he's got. Let me make sure he's got nothing that I want to steal. I gotta look over here in the strategy guide. It's so far away. Uh, he's got the robe of lords, but I've already got one, so I don't want it. So we're just gonna go all out. Attack with your strongest shit, and you'll be fine. Because he's kind of a pushover despite being a random, or a, uh, optional boss that no one knows about. Because this is the first time anybody's ever found this secret in the world. That's kind of hard to do. Mustard bomb, I guarded, bitch. I slash you with my sword. I shock you with my electricity? I don't really know if he's got any electricity he can just shock people with. Eh, oh well. Yeah, Hades is really not that hard. You would figure by the looks of him and his name <laughs> that he'd be a little uh, a little tougher, but really you just keep your strongest attacks on him. Uh, you ain't got much to worry about. He'll be dead quicker than these uh, Chaos Guardians you're fighting. Unless, of course, you uh, summon Bahamut every time, then it might take about six years. Unless, of course, you edit some of it out, then it's a little quicker. 
However, it wasn't quicker for me, because I still have to edit that. So fuck y'all. And he's about to reflect my flare spell. That's going to suck major donkey dick. Oh, so let's watch the flare spell get bounced back. See who it's going to be bounced back on, so I can probably revive him. On Zidane. He might live through it. Nope, he did not. Go fucking figure. Oh, now he's gonna try to freeze, even though everybody's got body temperature on, so it's not gonna hurt dipshit. You already tried mustard bomb on, bomb on him. Why do you think that was gonna work? Come on, let's get what's his name up. Give him an elixir just because he kind of needs to stay alive, unfortunately. You know, I could have just cast Cure on him and saved an elixir, but oh well. The Judgment Sword. Ooh, ah. Takes me down to 1 HP. What, you can't kill me? Weak pussy. You will die. And you will like it. Cleave. Goodbye, Steiner. Oh, this is really not that hard of a battle. Why are you gonna cast Cure on the dead guy? Answer me that dagger. Why are you gonna cast Cure on the dead guy? <laughs> Hopefully he only uses like another Judgment Sword. If he uses Cleave again, this will be uh, kind of a hard battle. Hey, what do you know he used it? That's my bitch. You do what I say and you... Motherfucker! Stupid son of a bitch. I hate the reflect thing. Powering sword. That's not good. Right, you son of a bitch. Let's see what happens when I cast a phoenix down on your ass. Yeah, that's right. You take it and you like it. Did I already use a phoenix down? Alright, I'm gonna heal everybody. Yeah, I already used a phoenix down. That was a waste. Oh well, I'm good at doing that. Curage for the win. Everybody's fully healed, I hope. Yeah, 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 like I'm scared. Oh, take it like a noob and die. Can't even use your powered up sword. Now he has a little seizure and disappears. Now what the uh, purpose of that optional boss is, one, we get some AP out of it, and some experience, and we get an entire wing edge. No. The real point of it is... I commend you for overcoming. I shall re reward you for your impressive feat. Bring me two pumice pieces here, and I will synthesize them for you. The end product is something only I can create. Have you brought the items? Yes, I have. He's got a bunch of good stuff. Now, right here, you can get the uh, best armor. I'm pretty sure it's the best for Steiner. But you don't want to do that because it requires the hammer. The hammer will allow you to watch a slightly longer ending. So I am not going to equip that. Or, yeah, I'm not going to make that. However, I am going to make the save the queen just because I can. And going to unequip whoever has the other pumice piece, piece, which is this bitch right here. So now, we will sympathize with the synth synthesize, whatever it's called, the pumice, which gives Dagger her final summon ability, Arc, and it raises her stats up a slight little bit. Summon the beast from the dark. Arc was the, uh, boss fight that we fought in Ol Olivert. So, I'm going to stop the episode right here. I'm going to go back to save point, heal up, and save, and the next episode we'll start off from right here and we'll fight the next Chaos Guardian. This has been Tiger's Ear signing off. Thanks for watching guys and have a good day.